Hey, what's up everyone? Sam here. So in this list, I'm going to be showing you five amazing facts about Neanderthals. Number five, they had herpes. Herpes is often mistaken as a modern STD, but the fact of the matter is humans have had herpes for thousands of years. Today it's estimated 1 in 6 Americans aged 14 to 49 suffer from the STD. While it's difficult to say how common herpes was back then, what we do know is that Neanderthals had herpes too. After analysing the ancient DNA of Neanderthals, scientists made the shocking discovery. They also believed that it was humans who gave Neanderthals the STD. You see, humans and Neanderthals interbred and today most of the population carry between 2 to 5% Neanderthal DNA. Number 4. They strengthened our immune system. While today the only living species of the genus Homo are Homo sapiens, i.e. human beings, at one point there were other species. Neanderthals were one of them, and since they were in the same genus as us, this means they could interbreed with us. An easy way to think about it is to compare a dog with a wolf. Both are in the same genus, but are two different species, and as you know, a dog and wolf can mate. When our ancestors migrated from Africa to Europe, they were met by Neanderthals. Not much is known about how humans and Neanderthals interacted, but what we do know is that we did interbreed. This interbreeding actually strengthened our immune system. This is because the Neanderthal human hybrids that resulted from breeding possessed gene variations that were better at warding off infections. Number 3. They gave us some bad things too. Mating with Neanderthals did have their benefits, but they also gave us some bad things too. Studies have shown that depression, nicotine addiction and heart attacks are just some of the things we inherited from Neanderthals. While you can't fully blame Neanderthals for these health problems, the research does show that Neanderthal DNA has increased the chances for these health risks. Number 2. They were mostly right-handed. As you probably know, most humans are right-handed. In fact, about 70 to 95% of the world's population is estimated to be right-handed. Studies have shown that this fact is also true to Neanderthals, which I guess is actually to be expected. They were very similar to us, so why not also be predominantly right-handed? Scientists discovered this by looking at the scratch marks on their teeth. They noticed the scratch marks were angled in a way that proves they were done by the right hand. Number 1. They were intelligent. Modern culture has always shown Neanderthals to be these dumb ape-like humans. This just isn't true. They were in fact very intelligent. Some may argue they were more intelligent than humans. Sure, today we humans use computers and have developed technologies that are just incredible, but back then when we lived with Neanderthals, we weren't any smarter. If you were to pluck a Neanderthal baby from the past and let it grow up in today's world, there's no evidence to suggest that they couldn't be just like us. They had the brain capacity and in fact their brains were larger than ours. The only difference would be that they would look a bit different to us. Neanderthals understood the medicinal benefits of plants. They built tools, they communicated with language, they even buried the dead. They did everything humans from that era did too. Why they're not around today remains a mystery. Many theories are out there, including that it was us humans that wiped them out. Thank you for watching. To subscribe, click over here. To watch another awesome video, then click down here. Do make sure to turn on channel notifications and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All details are on screen and in the description below. Once again, thank you for watching, and until next time, feed your mind.